Greetings nerdy list aficionados and we're back with the series about respect. That's right, superheroes who care about and respect each other. I'm Sasha and these are the top 10 superheroes who Thor respects. Let's get started. first debuted back in 1965 in Journey into Mystery Annual Number 1. However, he had appeared a year earlier, but that was later retconned not being him. So now people don't count it. In his first official appearance, he was set up as a rival of Thor. And if comics and anime have taught us anything, it's that a good rivalry is intense, overly dramatic, and standing on a firm base of sassy respect. Hercules would go on to become a regular guest star in Thor's books, and their rivalry had a friendly slant, and he would often aid the Thunder God. And they've had that dynamic ever since. It's only faded as Hercules is not really as popular a character as he used to be. And sometimes these days, people even make fun of him, but he still has Thor's respect. Number 9. Silver Surfer The Silver Surfer and Thor met after Loki manipulated the Herald into fighting each other. So, bit of a rough start. However, he soon realized that he had been manipulated and Thor actually seemed to enjoy having a worthy opponent. Since then, we're dealing with allies on the same power level, who help each other and can operate on a higher tier. Most people who meet the Silver Surfer end up respecting him, so it's not really all that surprising. They fought a decent amount of times though. Poor Norrin, so many hammers to the chest, directly to the chest. Number 8. Sif If there's one thing fans of Thor comics have a bone to pick with in the MCU, it's the treatment of Thor's supporting characters. Of all of them, Sif was given the most solo time to shine, although some of her plots were cut in an attempt to strengthen her character by removing her romantic connection to Thor. Sif, like most of Thor's supporting cast, was based off the Norse god of the same name. She is a warrior and was Thor's primary love interest for a time. She has branched out more on her own in recent years, but she has fought side by side with Thor, gone to hell to retrieve his soul, and been a loyal friend through thick and thin. As a close friend, sometimes lover, and fellow warrior, she definitely has Thor's respect. Number 7. Valkyrie We're going to do a combo of both versions for this, comic and MCU but mostly comic. Valkyrie debuted in Avengers 83 in 1970, and her backstory is complicated. Bodies separated from minds, fighting each other in other bodies, trapped in an amulet, lady liberators, a lot happened. She was briefly a love interest for Thor before shifting firmly to ally. The MCU version keeps the name and tweaks pretty much everything else, but both stood by Thor's side and were there in a crisis, and that's definitely something Thor respects. Number 6. The Hulk slash Bruce Banner Oh, the rivalry that goes down through the ages. Ages. Who is stronger? A constant barrage of let them fight. Some believe that their constant battles mean that they don't like or respect each other, but that is not necessarily the case. Of course, it depends which era Hulk we're dealing with. Also, Thor. The MCU took the two's friendship up a notch in 2017 with Thor Ragnarok, with Hulk grudgingly then more enthusiastically accepting his presence and Bruce Banner being quite happy to see him. It was a fun dynamic that a lot of people took to. MCU Thor respects most of his teammates, but not Tony. He started hating him even before Civil War. War. Side note, in the 2006 comic Civil War, Tony cloned him and the clone went insane. Yeah, friendship ruined. Number 5. Beta Ray Bill This character first appeared in 1983 in issue number 337 of The Mighty Thor during the Simonson run. So Beta Ray Bill can lift Mjolnir and this is in a time period before it happened all the time. But it doesn't happen all the time, but it happens more now. At first, Beta Ray was a bit of a bait and switch. He starts off seemingly bad, but it was all a misunderstanding. Once Thor gets his hammer back and realizes that Beta Ray Bill could lifted, the two teamed up. If you can lift Thor's hammer, that's a huge boost in Thor's eyes, worthy of respect because of the very inscription on the hammer. You have to be worthy to lift it, even if you're a bizarre alien who is nowhere near as cool as your creator thinks you are. Number 4. Superman Crossovers Oh, the late 90s and early aughts and its crossovers. So we need to take a look at a couple here. JLA slash Avengers. This one seems to be a meeting the Marvel characters remember, but not the DC ones. But there's been so much retcons to both universe since then that who knows anymore. We also need to go even further back to the Amalgam universe. But what you need to know is that Thor and Superman fought. There was a terrible Spinal Tap reference. Superman was able to lift and wield Thor's hammer briefly when they had to team up. He punched it back at him. Later, he couldn't lift it, and Thor said Odin let him use it for emergency purposes. And people are still mad that Superman won the fight, because they feel he should have lost because of magic. And 
Thor being more powerful? Because there is an argument that Marvel allegedly has a higher power grade in its universe. All of that aside, the two found each other to be worthy opponents, and were impressed to meet someone on the same power scale. The two found an understanding, and it was just cool to see these heroes side by side having a conversation. If he remembers the DC Universe, Thor definitely remembers his respect for Superman. Number 3. Black Panther So Black Panther first appeared in Fantastic Four number 52 in 1966, and while he has had his run-ins with the God of Thunder, they haven't crossed each other's paths the same degree as other characters. However, in the modern era, that has changed. In a small moment that connotes a huge level of respect, Thor vouches for Black Panther to be the new leader of the Avengers. Sometimes you don't need to be constantly hanging around with someone to see their impact and how awesome they are. You can still hold them in extremely high esteem, such as the case with Thor and Black Panther. Also just adding, at the time of this recording, comic canon is a minefield of changes, retcons, and more. Number 2. Hyperion Hyperion has had a couple of incarnations since he first appeared back in Avengers 69 and 1969. Some of the earlier versions of characters have fought Thor. However, in 2012, during the Hickman Avengers run of Multiversal Avengers, a version of Hyperion joined the team, who was not a king, or a supreme leader, or any other kind of potentially corrupted version. And they also moved away from him being such a pastiche of Superman. And this version was pretty much BFFs with Thor. The bromance between them was strong. Beer buddies, battle buddies, equivalent power level buddies. People missed this friendship when it was no longer a focus. But hey, it could be coming back. Things are always changing. Secret Wars doesn't have to be forever. Maybe it's coming back as you watch. And number one, Captain America. Yep, Thor and Cap, constant mutual respect. Just two leaders consulting with each other, being inspired by the other, also friends sometimes. These two also receive a large boost from the MCU, where after a rocky start, there's a pretty casual aura of respect flowing between the two. Thor sharing his warriors meet with him, Steve almost being able to lift Thor's hammer, which he can actually do in the comic first, most of the time. Hail Hydra. This one is so ingrained that it's almost a given, which is why it's number one. Sure, they've had their skirmishes, but I mean, who hasn't had those in the comic realm? It's been decades of hanging out with the same people. This one is something people People expect from these two top tier Avengers. If you can think of any great specific moments of Thor respect that you want to share, you know the drill. Leave them down below. This way the world can know. Inform the normies and the noobs. Tell the people. I'm Sasha. Thanks so much for watching Top 10 Nerd. Don't forget to like, share, of course comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And hang around and check out some more nerdy lists. We'll see you again soon. Bye bye.